Hey guys, it's Andy. So this is gonna be a video that you're gonna love. What do we hear all the time? I've got more cars to go look at. I got three more cars to go look at. What do people want to do? They want to shop, shop, and shop. And guess what? I've got a word track for you today that you're going to use when they say they got more cars to go look at. It's going to shut them down every single time. Okay, guys, this is going to be a video you're going to love. This video right here is whenever a customer says, I've got three more cars to go look at. Now, check this out. I'm not going to be doing this all the time. I've got over 150 to 200 closes that I've got that I teach salespeople, especially during the master closer seminar and stuff like that. And these are some easy ones that I feel like that are just objections you're gonna get for the rest of your life. You gotta be great at overcoming them. If you can't overcome them, you're gonna be screwed, okay? We know this, when objections start flying in, what do I wanna stop and prevent with salespeople? I want them to not get triggered. What does triggered mean? That means be shocked, caught off guard, right? Like flinch, like get where you're stuttering or you don't know what to say next or get locked up. So when someone says they want to go look at three more cars, what I see a lot of salespeople do is immediately go into, well, hold on, you know, I mean, didn't you really like the car? And they're like, well, sure, I like it, but you know, we got more we want to go look at. And then guess what? You say, oh man, well, you know what? What if I could make it just a crazy deal? You know what I'm saying? Just like a deal you couldn't say no to. You know, come on inside. Let me let you talk to my manager. How about you handle it on your own by overcoming it, right? Have the confidence. In this video, you're going to get the exact word track that I use to overcome it every single time. Now, I'm gonna back out of the screen for just a second, and I want you to pause the video, and I want you to write this down. I want you to write it down word for word. I'm gonna show you then how to use the body language, how to use your hands when you're closing it, and the exact words to say. So I'm gonna move out of here right now, and you guys can see this. Freeze the video. And I want you to actually now take that, write it down, and then memorize it. So, when a customer says, I have three more cars to look at, you always start out by neutralizing and agreeing. You say, I understand completely. Let's say that this was going to be the last car that you looked at and you already saw the other three. What would be the deciding factor on which car you'd want to purchase? And take your hands and hold them out just like this. And I want you to say both of these things. Would it be the affordability of the car or would it be the car itself regardless of the deal? What's a customer gonna say? They're gonna say, well, it would obviously be the deal on the car. And that's what you want them to say. So I want you to look at this. You see this right here? This is a baited statement. Nobody is gonna say this deal. Everybody's gonna say this deal. And then I'm gonna show you how to tie it in and close it at the end. So let's rephrase it and then let's close it. I have three more cars I want to go look at, Andy. I understand completely. Let's say that this was going to be the last car that you looked at and you already looked at the other three. What would be the deciding factor on which car you would purchase? Would it be the affordability of the car or would it be the car itself? And you got to use this word, regardless of the deal. Nobody is going to say, yeah, it would probably take it regardless of the deal. No, they're going to say, well, it would probably have to do with the affordability of the car. And you say, great. Look at this. Great. I completely agree. And I know that we found a car you love, so why don't I save you time? And then I go into, it's not a matter of if you're going to buy the car, but when. And I'm guessing that the wind is probably when the deal's right. Right? Well, yeah. Great guys, so let me show you a five minute proposal on the vehicle that you love. And obviously due to the fact that the car has to be the, the right car and the right deal, you found a car you love, it, if it was the last one that you looked at of, of all four that you saw, you said that it wouldn't be the car itself, it would be the deal itself. So it shows me that if you found the right car already, which I know you have, if the deal is right, then you're gonna be happy to take it home. Let me do my job for you and save your time. I know your time's valuable. I have to be extremely good at doing my job and do it great. And I'm going to show you just how great I am. And guess what? This word track, and I pushed a little bit farther in case you still had a skeptic customer. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to say, well, hey, you know, what if I could bring the price down? You know, well, don't go look at those cars. What are they? I don't want to bring those cars up. You know what I want to do? I want to repeat the same exact word track. I understand completely. Let's say that this was going to be the last car that you looked at and you already saw the other three. What would be, and look at these keywords, the deciding factor on which car you'd want to purchase? What would be the deciding factor? Now, I don't let them answer that. I actually give them the answer and I let them choose. And they're very well-planned answers. 
I know which one they're going to pick. Would it be the affordability of the car or would it be the car itself regardless of the deal? And they're always going to pick this one right here. And then you're going to say, I agree completely. Matter of fact, the fact that you love the car, I knew that this was going to be the right fit, but it's probably not a matter of if you're going to buy, but when, and the when is probably when the deal's right, right? And then you just say yes. And guess what? You take them inside and you sell them a car and you don't get locked up on this objection. I have been doing this for over 20 years, okay? 23 to be exact. And when I'm in car dealerships, I just heard this the other day. I walked outside with a salesperson. He said, this lady isn't buying nothing today. She's got three more cars she wants to look at. That's why this says three more cars because it's exactly what I heard. So I thought, you know what? Let me go handle this. And when I close it, I'll pass it on to you guys. So I walk out there with the salesperson. I said the same thing. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? And I hit her with this word track, word for word. And you know what she said? She said, Andy, if the deal was right, I would take this car. But I had to push those other three cars out of the equation and I had to address those three cars without addressing them in a manner like, are they apples to apples? What do they look like? How do you know that they're nice cars? Have you seen them yet? I don't want her to go see them. I don't want him to go see them. I don't want him to leave. I don't even want to talk about that other dealership. Okay, so if you want to become great at overcoming objections, learn a word track, tattoo it on your heart. Maybe you even take 70% of this and make it your own to become a master closer. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.